fucking get my door put? Put the fucking door in! How's everybody in Glasgow tonight? You're welcome to another shoot of the Blink and you'll miss it. And guess where we are tonight? Yes, we're at HMP Berlin, another shithole. So it's like strangers. So, what were they doing a Saturday? I do shout outs. So let's get these shout outs started just now. First of all, it's for my wee dear Aunt Madge. She just died there, 81 years of age. So, Madge is one of her favourite aunties. She's in Vinny this week, and I'll be there. So, Madge, we all love you. Shran's back for Australia. There's Anne, there's Catherine, Samuel, all the family. So, let's move on. There's another girl for Australia that's visiting here. She's, her name is Kelly, and she says she loves the show. She's back in the Australia. So Kelly, how are you? Then we've got Gary Gonzo, Conway, the DJ. I brought him back a strip from Barcelona. Henry Larson, he asked me to say. And uh, he says it was a jolly good car thief as well when he was younger. So Gary, I've said that for you. Joe Deaton and his Indonesian boys can have a mention as well, OK? And uh, my big pal Edinburgh, uh, Jamie, he's a DJ. And of course, a Livy. Right, we've got another couple. A guy, Kenny Wormsley, for Paul, wanted a shout out. Kira, what and also, we've got Johnny and his family at Lily's Ice Cream Shop, Del Rai. We will be down soon to try the ice cream. And Fred's cousin from Black Hill, her name is Rachel. She celebrated her 16th birthday last night. So, Happy birthday, Rachel, from Black Hill. Also, my brother Gary, he's in Tenerife, and uh, he watched Rangers today, destroying Motherwell 3-1. Good on the Rangers. And that's the big shout-outs for tonight. I'm not doing a lot tonight, because you need to watch uh, what's happening here, doing it at this place. Right, we've got maniacs walking by, full of drink and all this, but... We man, leave us alone, we'll try to get a live stream, right? Okay, right, so let's go. So I want to talk about Berlini. Berlini was uh, first built in 1982, right? Take the glasses off him. It was built in 1982. It's a shithole. hole. It held 1,500 men, well over capacity. And then let's move up the ranks. There was uh, executions that took place. In Berlin, uh, it's not known how many people were executed, but certainly Peter Manuel, who was a serial killer in Glasgow, was executed. I think he killed about six people, I'm not too sure. But the last person that was executed was a young boy, he was only 19, his name was Anthony Miller. Uh, he was done for murder during a robbery, it went wrong. Uh, so that was the last execution, 1960. But there's a lot of more uh, bodies buried in Berlin. So let's move up a bit. So we'll go to the right, 1987, from the 6th of January. The prisoners said enough, just like strangers. And then uh, the good pal Samuel the Bear Ralston, he got dragged out the dining hall. Uh, but took back to B Hall where a few of my friends were in the Barry, Koki, to name a few. They heard uh, uh, Sammy getting the shit kicked out of him. So they decided when they came out after the bang up at six o'clock to get sided. Right, it's okay. They get sided. They get decided when they get opened up at six o'clock, they were all valleyed up. They got onto the roof, they chased all the screws, the screws as usual, they all ran like fuck. Dirty shite bags, okay? So, they all got up in the roof, they took three hostages. Uh, Albert Moffat was there, another pal of mine, Stephen Simmons, Ernie, the two Cokey brothers, Stephen McCartney, Boy Twig from Easter House and Moose, and another few. They had the, the officers' uniforms, also Bongo McLeish was there. Also, they had all their uniforms, their shields, they broke through the roof, and they were singing scheme songs. One of the songs was Innocent as Hell. Another one was, well, time. We were going to get a bit of time for this riot. Right? Also, self-destruct. Yeah, they weren't self-destructing. They were destructing that roof. And Ian came down with a banner and I said, 
slash a gather delicate as an animal. He caused most of this. Sorry, just took some water there. Yes, he did. Slasher Gallica actually slashed a prisoner in Peterhead prison and he says to the guy, don't say anything, let me slash you back. So the guy ended up in the unit. Everybody knows the story and knows the guy did. So Slasher Gallica caused all this. It's, the conditions were inhumane. The boys learned something about it. I only wish I was there. Just like strange ways when I didn't know one about Alan Burke. So that's a bit about the riot. Uh, the penalty the officers with the uh, brick slates. Also, early in team, they managed to get the doors off the cells. And when they were trying to get through to the... When they were trying to get up the stairs in B-Hall, they couldn't. Early and they had devised a way to get the doors off and they were following a pack of cards. There was many injuries with the prison officers. They broke their backs, they broke their noses, we were too big anyway because they were nosy bastards. Uh, well, there was a heavy bit of damage done, right? So, the riot lasted five days and five wonderful nights. And uh, they let a hostage go for food and art. Then after day three, another hostage was let go. And it ended after five days, not before they wrecked a bee hole. So let's move up to me, that wonderful riot. Let's look up to me. I get battered my cunt, and in 1985, I smashed a teapot over a, an officer. Not just any officer. I smashed a teapot over a, an officer that was the SO, senior officer. And I get dragged back in my cell, and uh, somebody in with me, and uh, the officers all gathered up. It was a Saturday, there must have been about six of them. And I had the two out of the cell, I was only slashed one of them, I went, nah, don't bother, you're only doing 12 month thing. So I got took down through the hall, but it was a gormlet all the way out. And uh, through the gormlet, they were kicking, punching, everything, what I doing I got. I woke up the next morning, I thought I was like the elephant man. But uh, what did they usually say, how you doing young troops? Just in a video about the nasty Berlin up there anyway. I get dragged away down to the bottom flat as usual. The doctor came. Yes, lads. Yes, lads. You know what we're talking about. Don't get in there yourself. Got the street path, not that slippery path. Because he's all about consequences. So, anyway, I get battered. What I do, I got. I so wonder I wasn't full of broken bones. But I was an elephant man and the dirty bastard told my mum the next day I couldn't get, I couldn't, uh, I was refusing the visit. What a pile of shite. Right. So they just didn't they want them to see me, they kept me away. So that was 1985. So let's trip up to 1991 when Ian got arrested in the Chinese restaurant and was strangled to death. Uh, the officers came in. 15, about 15, 16 Scottish crime squad, they looked for me for the bank. I was on the run with a gun and asked Sheila, did she see anybody uh, coming into the restaurant? It was dodgy. She says, no. So a lovely couple came in and I said, that's a lovely couple, but they're a police. Little did I realise there was another five officers. Uh, oh, he celebrated the driving licence, right? But I didn't go on there, but on the lovely couple, right? And they'll drink a water, don't worry, it's not vodka, I'll be getting some tonight. It's Saturday. It's people celebrate the wee chinky. So, I'll talk about chinkies. So they got me up, they all rushed in, jumped up. Oh, by the way, the lovely couple were the first couple that jumped on me. So it was overkill. They got me up and talk, they all had me up. I was going blue, I thought the wee Chinese guy was running over and he was going to say, listen, you're going to kill him. No, he says, who's paying the bill? At that, they released my grip, and uh, I went boop, 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 right over the freedom. It was one of the most momentous moments of my career, and one of the saddest. Momentous, three sick over, boop, 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 over three Scottish, uh, Scottish, no, yes, Scottish crime squad. It's a serious crime squad now, and the uh, saddest, Getting dragged away down to London Road, I had the gun on me. 
they were looking at me for the they were, they were watching me for the bank but they got me with the gun so okay that's what happened then so I'm in the Bellini that day right this Bellini here look there's a sign there we don't want to walk up any further just in case the officers come out and ruin the video so we'll do a wee bit here and we'll, we'll get a wee bit of landscape in the Bellini because it's a shithole so I'm in the Bellini one day I was in for four or forty-five, uh, and I was getting was a lot of funny looks from the officers. So I get back to my cell when I was pacing up and down from five to six. If you go out at six, it was slopping out. Anyway, nineteen ninety-one, I was walking up and down my cell to five to six. And I've gone, oh my god, I've lost the pub, I've lost the car, I've lost this, I've lost the baby, I've lost that. I've been expecting eighteen years at, for, Hello? at the old Bailey. For a robbery in England, try to steal six mil, you never get nothing. Somebody's got to get caught. So, anyway, the door opened at six o'clock. I've got a big crowd to get a fancy or what? So, the door opened at six, expecting to go out the toilet, and three officers strip search. I never even had time to plank anything. I was only in there an hour. So, they come in. The hall was eerily silent, by the way, and there was about 300 prisoners, and I was like, something's not right. So the next one, one of them tried to punch me when when I was taking my clothes off, the dirty coward, by the way. Remember, this is 1991 June, and uh, I tried to steam into them. Oh, another five or six ran in, right? So... They got me down, it was all pre-planned, premeditated. They got me down, <coughs> one of them put my hair back, and they all shouted in unison, Do you know what this is for McDonald's? And I said, No. What's it for? And they went, payback time. So they all no fuck at me, right? <laughs> so then they took me down the stairs, on the locks, trying to get me to scream. And there's one man from Postal Park who I salute. Yes, you know who you are? You know who you are? <laughs> Out of these 300 prisoners, you the only want to kick your door. Mr. Carry Carbine. Mr. Carry Carbine from Poso. He kicked his door, yes, Carry. And Carry got a doing through it as well. I talked to his young son and now Carry. So I salute Carry. Flip my son, flip my knee. I flip all the coins in the Carbine family from Poso Park. I'll never forget what Carrie done that day. He was a man, right? And that was that. So they took me down to a strip cell, and uh, I says, I'm not wearing this goonie. They done the chicken and all that. They threw me out, and uh, naked. I sat all morning. A young officer, Andy, came in the morning, and he says, Right, Ian, I'll take you for a shower. I says, I'm not wearing that goonie. He says, I've got your clothes. So I was in the shower, I'd get, uh, get used to the white ones of soap. Did you drop your and, uh, soap? <laughs> yes, I dropped my soap, mate. There was no dinner soap with me, so oh, nobody was going to do my part, all right? So just make the new wee man. Just wait, we've talked about my cell in the shower. Oh, That's hey. still to come with the guys with the soap. Oh, you know what I mean? So don't worry about it. So anyway, and he says to me, listen, he says, I've got more bad news. And I says to Andy, what do you mean more bad news? There can't be any more bad news. He went, well, my chef's coming up to battery at the lunchtime break. And I went, I'm not in here for recreational purposes. I've not to get battered with a cricket bat, a cricket ball. I kicked about that like cricket ball. We use animals. So that never happened. I went to the Wendy house and went, oh, if they see the governor this morning. And I said, the governor? Well, this is the buttons say, hi de hi, welcome in. I says, what have I seen the governor for? He went, oh, do you not know that the prison officers for last night, they're accusing you of attacking them. Oh, yes, prison officers, that's one of your tactics. We attack you, ten of you just kick fuck out us, but we attack you. You've got bruises all over the place, and what does the doctor say? You fell down the stairs. So... I get in the Wendy house, I got a visit that day from an ex-partner and Gary, my brother, and I says, I am going to slash one of them. I've nothing to lose. So the says, says, hey, Gary went, idea, 
So the ex-partner's made me a promise, she says, I'll wait the next ten years. That was a lie. Five years she waited, but how can you expect a woman to wait all that time? So anyway, I was in the way, I'm back to the window house and I went, Jesus Christ. I says, I'm going to win ten years. Ten bloody years. I was only 30. It was June 1991 at the time. Carol prison officer, I remember you. You were an animal as well, you bastard. Right? So anyway, keep looking, mate, keep looking. You're only yourself. I can come in and fucking give you a slap. That wouldn't waste my time, mate. Okay? So, this mob are called the Chewing Gum Gang. Right? You know that up there, actually? Still getting Bologna up there? So, the Chewing Gum Gang, they were called the Cumbernauld. It's in the book. And then... Uh, so they were playing silly little games. The first game they played was they come in at 5 to 3 on a Saturday and they says, get your clothes out of an escape risk. I says, no, it doesn't go to half past four. So I says, there's we guys uh, that, uh, that wall, younger than me. And he says, and what? And one of them made a quick remark. He went, oh yes, we'll go over that wall with the social club. Having a drink, I went, oh, very funny. I said, we're a young boy, it's less than five, we're going to park keg, watch the football, you're telling me to take my clothes off. So all they went away, they used to do that, ha, 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 ha. So they went away. So the second trick they played on me, I'm still no biting, they said, right, I'm trying, I don't know if we're going a bit fast for the viewers here, but I'm just trying to get it done quick here, because, uh, these animals up here will phone the police, right? So I'm saying to myself, right, what's next? So I brought my clothes in for three days when I was putting them outside at night, as I told geez. And uh, what happened was the third day, I says, by the way, and I looked along, I says, there's not a leak along there for the shower room. And I says, uh, Something else that says, I can't really remember. But anyway, I pulled the officers up, the chewing gum gang, and I says to them, listen, I says, do you know what's happening? I says, my clothes are wet every morning they come in. Do you know what they said? There is a lot of cats in Berlin, by the way, and there's a gate open in the Wendy house, and they says, it must be the cats. Do you know what I said? I just grabbed the door and I went, fuck you. It must be used fucking dogs. So all they went away again. Ha 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 ha. Stupid fucking idiot. But uh, I met these young officers down in the count house one day and I challenged them. I said, You, 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 for Cumbernauld. I said, Do you like to have a go now? See how big these are. Oh, 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 we never done that. And yes, she said, You'd run putting fuck out the prisoners because of the bloody riot. And it's a disgrace up that prison just now where these are still acting in a way it's a controlled manner. He's let five people out, he's let five people out at a time, six people out at a time. Right. I'm going to try and get a wee landscape me here. Right? Five, six people at a time out. These are shite bags. But you know what? I can't wait to the new Berlin is built. It will be ready in 1923. It will be built in 1923, the new prison, right? And then, uh, once that's gone, the lady is going to be demolished in 1925. Well, I'll be the first person up to see it demolished, okay? So I'm walking up to the just now, and we're going to try and get a focus of it. So while I'm talking, Ernie Barry, the Cokies, Albert Moth and that, they all stood trial for the Berlin riot. Ernie was done for rough justice at the time, and uh, it was rough justice. He got 18 years for a robbery in Blantyre, which he never done. So Ernie was up on the roof, he was one of the men, and the Cokie brothers, and as I said, my pal Dave Fitzsimmons, uh, there was three people convicted at the trial, Glasgow High Court, and uh, by the way, they're all feast of the house. There was Shoe Twing, and uh, Moose, and Bongo. I forgot to tell you that Bongo, he was only doing six months. Keep coming up, keep coming up. Keep coming up. Keep coming up.
Bongo's going to do it six months at a time, and uh, it was alleged that he went to a sale, turning them were cowering in a sale, right? Turning them were cowering in a sale, right? And uh, they were that bad that they broke through into each cell, and I think Bongo put a mattress outside, so he got 10 years for that. So, I'm just walking up to Berlin even now. Uh, my brother Gary and me were in here many years ago as well. We get sent down for longer again for being bad boys. We wrecked it up there. We were warned of any trouble, and uh, yous will be in trouble. So Gary went to court, right? Gary went to court, he ate here, the two were saying that we monkeys, and I says to Gary, I says to Gary, I says to Gary, what happened today at court? And he's up at the bars and he shouted, I get eight years. This was back 1981. I says, eight years? Christ sake, that's heavy duty. So, I've been beaten many a beat north of them. I've given them many a beat. Two all round there, let's get that. Okay? So, this is just the thing with Berlin. Uh, oh, by the way, they've got a gym and all that there, you know what I mean? Uh, Berlin to me is just a hell of a you know what I mean? I feel good. Let's try right up here. I've got a totally two feet in the line. But what I'm just going to say just now, I salute the plenty rioters. I salute everybody in the line. It's been tortured, it's been battered. How gallows they are then. See if they'll sell good fuck you everybody and give them a good do. So, this place is just a hell of 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 in 1982, can you believe that? 1982. There's actually people buried in Berlin, and their families don't even know. That's the cells there. That is D block. Right, D block, yeah. I've been accused there many things in there. I've been in there for shootings, everything. Uh, Allegedly slashed a few people in there. Well, that's what they get coming to them. They wouldn't be gangsters and all the rest of that stuff. But, eh. Uh, the long road, also, there was a great escape in 1980, I believe. John and Boy Steel, Jim Steel, Friends of Mines, right? Eh. Uh, and Archery. And uh, one of my friends, he says he's rather thankful. He got the free boiled eggs that morning. <laughs> so salute you, Jim and John, and Archie. Archie Steen, it was. But uh, why is it all up there just now? Okay. He's up up. Cameras are all over. Come on, Ned. This is three, but the will just do Berlini. So, Officers, well, there's good and bad everywhere. Yes, there is. But what I'm saying is, yeah, bad, bad, bad. Okay? And uh, I'm annoyed to be a prison officer, but I'll give shots or two. The prison officers in shots are quite nice people. They're only there for their wages, but see the prison officers in Berlin. They're there just to kick fuck at you and make your life hell. 
up early in the morning, you've got to put in for the phone, you've got to put in for this, a shower every couple of days. Oh, it's just a... See, because I've got a TV in that in my life, it doesn't make any dif difference in a toilet. It's just a hellhole. And uh, you need to walk in about a free man, free bump. That place is a shithole. And I can't wait to 1925 when it gets locked down. Look at that place where this was There's a lot of people who tried to escape, but the steel one was the best one. And even young Joe Steele, when he handed himself in one of many escapes to prove his innocence, Joe was on one of the towers up here. I salute you, Joe. <laughs> I salute everybody who's trying to escape to Bolini. Uh, old guy, I think it was Jason Dolby in the 1980s. He escaped and I came out in a laundry basket. Uh, another wee guy I know from Chapel Mick Roselli. He got out his bars on New Year's Eve. He got away. Good on you, Mick. I salute you as well. It's a pity I never was being. Uh, Andrew Gallagher, the governor, was in the Slasher Gallagher, he was an animal, he was, but I'm waiting for the days when this place comes down and we've got the HMP at Glasgow and it's just a, that's the way it's a proper gas box from my house. And, uh, yeah, There's not, not so tough when there's two years or three years and there's one or two of them. But see when there's ten of them. Oh, there's big gangsters and all the rest of it. But and there was also an officer who used to drink my pub in spring bum. I think his name Billy. Billy, how you do? Yeah, fucking prick. I went in there and you were on the van going to Edinburgh with me. Well, the job's fantastic, blah, 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 blah. I've got a girlfriend, I don't know how he managed that, but he got a girlfriend. He gave me a polo man, he says, he's sneezing, where? Come burn all. And uh, he was a plumber, he used to go over to my house, in Langside, and uh, do a couple of jobs, Ke kept his mother and that in the pub after all. This is 1990. His mother and that were disgusted, he joined the prison service, and uh, so I said to Billy, I said, you've become an animal. No, 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 no. Well, see when I, see when I was in there in 1991, to wait and take down to England. Billy walked right by my mum and partner and never even says hello. But he, well, you're an ugly bastard. You're still an ugly bastard than her. Spotty face. I don't even know how you got a girlfriend. But you promised us that night, oh, I'll bring a wee bit of hash and I'll do this, I'll do that. You done fuck all. You joined in and battered every cunt else, just everybody else. Okay? So I think we're just going to wrap this up just now. It's just been a wee short clip from the Blink and You'll Miss It team on HMP Bellini, which is not going to be any more shortly. So let's have a drink and a toast. By the way, I'm lying. There is vodka in it. I salute yous, Bellini. Yes. Salute yous for putting fuck out of everybody over the years. Me included. So let's see how tough yous will be when HMP Glasgow opens near Proven Mill, south of Royston Road at the Proven Gasworks. So we are going now. And it's goodbye from Ian, from the Blink and the Mystic team. So, hopefully you will see it tonight and you will all be back. 
and I'm sorry there wasn't a lot of shout outs tonight but I'm in a rush, I'm hungry in there they'll all be hungry now they get banged up for 5 o'clock lads sorry about that but I've done it for I was 19 push pot the lot so once again before I go I salute the prisoners there I salute the prison officers for being bastards good night from Glasgow and I hope you're all watching all over the world to see what the true Berlin is like but that will be demolished in 2025 and the new prison will be in 2023. So goodbye from Glasgow. Bye!